The 12th century hermitage of Neophytos is comprised of painted caves carved out of the cliffs near the city of Paphos. In 1542, a map of the Venetian Republic named the site as the Monastery of the Enclistra. Enclistra is a Greek word used by Neophytos for his hermitage because he lived there as a recluse. During a turbulent political period of Cyprus, this private retreat of hermit Neophytos attracted a small monastic community and cells developed along the cliff by the end of the 12th century. Early colotypes and photographs of the exterior of the Enclistra complex demonstrate the interventions the site underwent over the last century, forming a challenge for digitally presenting the models of the Hermitage across the Middle Ages. In his initial cell on the site, Neophytos lived from 1159 and for 37 years, spending his days studying, writing and praying. An adjacent rock-cut church dedicated to the Holy Cross was founded then and decorated with wall paintings at different times during his stay there. The Russian pilgrim Parsky, who visited the caves in 1735, praised the paintings for inducing contrition in every devout worshipper. After 1197, Neophytos confined himself in a new cell, higher up the cliff. After his death, in about 1215, he was buried in his initial cell in a rock-cut tomb. Yet the monastic community continued in existence. According to an inscription of 1503, a monk called Neophytos, who styled himself as the new founder, undertook the restoration works of the Enclistra's church. In about that time, a church of the Virgin Mary was built close by. It has housed the relics of Neophytos since the middle of the 18th century. Today, it serves as the Catholicon of the monastery dedicated to St. Neophytos.